Thank you for joining us. I'm Pinky Webb. The Commission on Elections has proclaimed the party list winners in the midterm polls with two groups securing three seats at the House of Representatives. Leading the race is at CIS party list, a group endorsed by TV personalities, the Pupo Brothers. Longtime party list groups also made the cut like Bayaguna and Ako Bicol. With issues hounding the party list systems, it's about time to review the law and what do they really represent? Let's go straight to the source of the story. First off, anti-crime and terrorism through community involvement and support. That's what it means. Our at CIS party list representative, Nina Carula Nina, welcome to the show. We will have congratulations. Thank you. Amy. Number one, Thank you. Yes, we made history <laughs> and we're so happy. Uh, this overwhelming support that the man campaign. Thank you very much. Nina, you're, you're the third, first. no? I'm the third nominee, kaya I'm the worker for the first and second nominee. And we're not expecting uh, uh, a very overwhelming support and unprecedented victory. Okay. Namin. So uh, the story with Axe is Nanalo ang Axe in 2013. Yes. Tumakum During the time of Congressman Sunny Patila. Tumakumuli ng 2016. Yes. Pero why? Oh, hindi Nanalo yes. si Pardilis. Tapos tumakumuli ng 2019. Ano nagkaroon ba ng change ng organization, ng tao, ipinasa ba ito from one person to another? Yes, actually from uh, Congressman Sandy Pandilang, ipinasa ito sa under the new management, which is si Mr. Eric Coya. And ang, ang lakas at inspirasyon talaga ng AXIS party list ay si na Idol Rocky Ufo at saka na si Irwin Ufo. Nanalo ba kayo at ang number one ba kayo would you say because of the Ufo brothers? I think so because of the Rocky Ufo magic plus our Martin Salarte show na talagang 20 years na yun is Pinky and of course siguro yung hard work kasi kami lang ang nominee na nag-ikot. Ako halos inikot ko yung buong Pilipinas and yung buong ikot kasi I'm from Bicol, uh, yun ang baluarte ko. Plus, plus si, si, uh, si Congress woman Jocelyn Pumatulfo is from Isabela, yun naman siya na-concentrate. Si, uh, si Congressman Eric Goyab sa Davao naman, yes. is from Davao. So ang dami niyo pala na, ano, na represent ng mga yes. baluarte. And also overseas, we went to uh, uh, Dubai, we went to Hong Kong, Singapore. So talagang doon kami ng kampanya. Anong, ano, anong unang gagawin ng AXCIS? What is really the agenda for you guys? Okay, AXCIS party list. When you say AXCIS, we are the anti-crime crusaders. Kami yung party list para sa mga inaake. So, um, ang unang-unang agenda namin na Ms. Pinky is uh, since anti-crime crusaders kami is ibalik talaga yung death penalty dun sa mga karumag-dumang na krimen. Like, for example, yung, yung plunder, and dyan din yung terrorism, and uh, yung siyempre yung sa drugs. Plus of course, meron kasi kami ng advocacies, yung aming uh, party list, which uh, inatawag namin itong clam. Yung letter C, since uh, dalawa kami girl power ni uh, Congresswoman Pulpo, I, uh, we want to champion the women's and children's rights. Tataasan namin yung palusa sa mga, uh, yung sa child abuse, uh, sexual exploitation to so human trafficking para sa mga kabataan at kababaihan. So we want to uh, we really, really push for that. And the letter L, we are known for new show namin as a board and employment watchdog. Meaning, mabantayan namin yung, yung ating mga manggagawa, especially yung mga most exploited uh, workers natin in the country. And dyan yung mga security guards, yung construction workers, at uh, at the same time, protection na natin yung mga kapakalan ito tinatawag natin ng mga buhay na bayani, yung mga OFWs, mga overseas Filipino workers. So, uh, andyan din po yung letter A, uh, bilang anti-crime procedures, andyan na nga po yung papatawa natin ng mas mabigat na palusa, yung mga gumagawa ng kalumagdubal ng krimen, yung, yung terroristic attack, kasi nakakasira ito sa international image, uh, inter, uh, sa image natin sa international community para nga makapag-impay tayo ng investors. Before you go to the M, uh, Nina, so sinasabi niyo kasi anti-crime crusader kayo at gusto niyo ibalik ang death penalty for crimes such as plunder. Sabi niyo kasi kaso magluma ng mga krimen tulad ng plunder, terrorism, and drugs. Paano naging karo magluma ng krimen ng plunder at karo magluma ng krimen ng terrorism? Okay. Uh, alam mo naman kasi pag terrorism, uh, Ms. Pinky, iba talagang ano to eh, yung mga inosente, ang siya nadadamay. So, aside from that, uh, yung mga, um, yung image natin sa international community, nakakasira lalo na hindi tayo nakaka-invite ng mga investors. So, talagang panahon na para taasan natin yung magpataw 
ng uh, death penalty sa kanila. And then, plunder. Plunder. Um, di ba alam mo naman, um, kami nasa Indiana na din. Eh mga pagito kami, we admit na pagito kami sa politika, kami may tatlong uh, nakaupo, si Kong Yap and si uh, Kong Tool, hopeless ako. So, pero mas gusto namin, uh, it's about time, na parusahan natin na mas mabigat yung uh, uh, gumagawa ko na huwag na tayo sa apan ng bayan. Alright, kasabi mo may M na, di ba? Okay, yung letter M as a major practitioner, uh, gusto mo isulong yung Magna Carta for Media Workers. Kasi wala pa talaga tayo na ni Spinky, yung Magna Carta for Media Workers. Kasi di ba yung mga sinasapak natin sa kera, yung mga like uh, mga reporters, cameraman, uh, yung mga utility natin na wala naman talaga, alam mo naman nila. Okay. So, kailangan nila ng mga yung insurance na lang, health insurance, kailangan din. So, uh, tapos yung contractualization, alam naman na yun na ito, it's very generic. Yeah, ang very generic. Pero the rest kasi na medyo, ano, yun, yun ang pagluto na natin. Talents na. Yes, yung talent na tinatawag natin. Ang B. And of course, ang kasama na, yung letter P, protection for the LGBTQ, protection for the elderly, uh, protection for uh, youth. Yung, mm -hmm. Kasi diba yung daming yung plano ah. Yes, yung sabuli ngayon, yung sa mga millennials natin, kailangan medyo taasan siguro din yung auto meron tayo yung anti-cyber crime law, pero siguro mas mainam na ito. And of course, the protection for the environment. Ang dami na yung plano. Ang dami, medyo malawag na yun. able to do this? Um, ang first agenda namin na talagang doable is yung action center. Kasi yung which is existing. Which is existing and that is the guy. Why? Kasi ako from Bicol, we will be putting up action center na by June na pag-upo namin. Because it's our commitment to the people. Yung talagang, actually, ay nang ako. Hindi ko sinasabing pang ako commitment. So by June, meron na ako si I'm from Ilika City, from Sur. Sa hometown ko, dun yung action center. And then sa Isabella kay Congresswoman Tulfo. Kasi baluante naman niya yun. And si Congressman, Uh, yeah, si Eric Yap, sa Davao naman. And that action center, obviously, hindi bago sa inyo dahil matagal din natin ginagawa ng yes. Diyan ng Group of Brothers. But uh, the question is, why you? Why the wife of Rafi? Why Mr. Eric Yap? And why not Irwin or Rafi? Okay, now it can be told. Ako talaga dapat hindi dito. Dapat it's really for um, the position. It's for Irwin talaga. Mm -hmm. But uh, he begged off. Sabi niya, eh, Siguro sabi niya, hindi pa na pagkanoon. Not the right timing. Kaya sabi ko, why me? Noong una talaga. Kasi di ba, Miss Pinky, 29 years ako sa broadcast industry, 20 years sa public service show na. So parang, sabi ko, it's an ultimate sacrifice for me. So parang, parang sila the decision for me. Na sabi ko nga, sobrang flattering at the same time, challenge sa akin na, bakit ako pagkakatiwalaan nyo? And considering the third nominee pa, kaya parang yung chances of winning, hindi ganun ka. Were you hoping hindi yung mawag ng tatlo? Yeah, we're not expecting talaga kasi laban lang because ng mga last month pa, hindi kami sumasama sa survey. Pero sabi ko nga laban lang, talaga ko nagkampanya ako, hard work. I think yun yung pinaka, tsaka yung siguro the track record yung sleeper exam na wala ko. Man kami sa kongreso, tumutulong na talaga. Is this going to be a part of this of the administration? I don't think so. Um, yun, yun lagi ang, 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 ano nila, ang tanong sa akin. Well, uh, issues like, siyempre, anti-drug campaign, an, uh, anti-crime campaign, of course we are in support sa administration. Pero siguro may mga issues naman like, meron naman kami independence. Like siguro sa issue for train law, or... Uh, Kasi hindi kayo sa ating law. Yes, yung, yung, yung may mga, siguro may mga, May mga issues na medyo hindi kami sasagayon. Pero in terms of uh, yung mga campaign na against drugs, crime, we will uh, support that. Okay, so uh, they got uh, three seats. Number one po sila uh, sa party list. Nanginya, maraming salamat. And thank you. Well, of course, we wish you luck together with the two other nominees, Congressman, magiging Congressman elect Eric Yap, no? Yes. And Congressman elect uh, Tungfo again. Uh, she's the wife of Rami Tu. Yes. All right. Well, thank and you for your time. Thank you so much. We'll be taking a short break when we come back by Luna and our co-vigo partners, Representative Carlos Zarate and Alfredo Garvin will be with us after the break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. Please stay tuned.